Somehow I woke up out in Beverly Fucked up, smelling like that bourbon And I had a balloon I'm not sure Yeah, the girls seem polite in the club every night That's how it goes when you Hollywood person What well, going people, Lumini here back again with another episode of My Save here on my channel. Last episode we had a pretty decent episode, two wins, can't say convincing wins, but they were wins nonetheless. We had an okay game against Bremen, but we were quite wasteful in that game. Um, got our first points on the board in the Champions League as well, which was a positive. Three more games in this episode, we have Eintracht Frankfurt. Heidenheim and then Dinamo Kiev in the Champions League But we're already at the game against Eintracht, which obviously is the derby. We are away for this one So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. I'm not gonna do the press conference for this one Because I will do the press conference on camera for the Champions League again But yeah, let's I'll get this done off camera and then we'll get into the game Pavlidis, Gianluca Scamacca, Goetze, Chibi, Gibbs White, Koke, Dean Mbembe, Smolik, or small Kick, I think, Alvedi, Ongwene, David Raya in goal, Matisse Tell off the bench, Knauf. They've got a really good side at the moment, to be honest. Um, oh, I need to change mine. Let's just go into here. Not many changes for us. Uh, Burkhart and Angelo coming in for this one. Besides from that, everything else is pretty much staying the same. Let's swap those two around. Which means the outside centre halves will need to cover the areas out wide, which I would say is asking a lot. He must finish. Oh, a goal! He's going to be right. What? Gamaka has just scored a screamer. What is Belakocha doing there? Why is Bayern not trying to get around his man? I mean, it's a great finish, but what the hell is going on with my defence, man? And we answer, yes, we can answer indeed. Armando Broya. The man we relied upon so heavily last season gets himself a goal to put us 1-1 in well, the just look at this again. derby. Not the quite the same the level as their goal, but we will take it's any an goal that we finish. can get at this point, to be honest. Nice passing move from us, you have to say. So Good build-up play. On the back of that leveler. What? Burkhart? Are you joking? Good ball over the top. Okay, so you have to get out to Dino and Bembe here because this is where the goal came from last time. Well, there was must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say. I am not convinced by these centre back signings that we've made. What is Bella Kotchap doing well, there? Is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. What is He'll Bella be a little Kotchap bit doing? You've given it back to him. So Maybe Morales should save it. But why is Bella Kotchap just handing him back the ball? Yes, Go. it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. They're back to level. It's Apologies for jumping in. Oh, he's through a and he's going to get us back on level terms again. This looks like it's going to be a straight out firefight between Broya and Skamaka right now. Mistake from them in the middle of the park and from the same angle. Armando Broya has slammed one into the side netting. Well, another Straight shoot out what between a those two right game now. This has been. For Leipzig, it was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range oh, to finish that move off. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 40 oh, minutes to And the referee has given it. It will be Fuck a penalty. Me, Can they forge ahead? I'm so stupid. I tried to slide to block it and I've just caught Koke instead. Why would I slide in the box? I'm so stupid. That is so dumb for me. This to put them back in front. And he always go right. I swear they just know which way I'm going to die. Disappointing again. Another stupid mistake on the wing. Dino and Bembe comes forward and it right, still right. falls apart from there. So there they are. Good ball to Preston, aren't they? Amiri with it. 
Great, man. Great one there. Oh, we are back on level terms again. Amanda Broya hat trick. That is a great bit of play there. Good finish as well from Broya. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great Good ball along the floor there from Amiri. Broya so first time strike. It, David Raya can't close him down in time. Back on level terms. Not so confident about again. keeping on level terms, if I'm honest, because we've been quite poor. Morgan this game. Gives white. And quick thinking defensively. The last time of the game, because Cassie's just well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And that is it. 3-3. Three, three. Amando Broya well, saving us separated. for the hat trick. And goals very much part of the equation. Still a lot to... Interested to get your final yeah, analysis. a lot to do with well, our Derek, defenders, really man. Good game, but... Such well, poor defending from game, us in that game. Without Amando Broya dragging us forward once again. Well, he Probably was another loss there. Today, and he was the main reason a lot to do. Now, we'll see us stay in sixth place for now. I don't know. I feel like attacking-wise... It's starting to come together. Yeah, it's starting to come together attacking wise, but defensively, we're just not getting it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a combination of defenders that we have just don't work very well together. I think we might, I might just have to give Rula a start. I like, I like Bella Kotchap's profile as a player. But I just can't get it to work. Rula, I've got it working a bit. Bayer, obviously, makes his mistakes, but sometimes, uh, most of the time, I feel like is at least in the mix. We've now got a bit of a break before the next game in the league, so I will let you guys know when we get to it. Bjorn Lindgren will be going out on loan for six months in January, so he'll get some play time as well, join the other lads that we've got out on loan. We did also have a transfer offer come in for Hansen, but I just straight up rejected it because I wasn't uh, interested really in letting him go. All right, here we are up against Heidenheim. They're in 11th, we're in 6th still. I think I'm going to play Ruau and Bayer in this game to see how it goes. I'm going to make a couple changes in this game as well because obviously we've got the Champions League coming up. He scored a hat-trick. I wouldn't, don't really want to play him, but if we have to, we have to. So in the snow, the Heidenheim lineup is as follows. Manage and Sargent up top. Besta, Mutusami, Sessa, Maloney, Formback. Uh, Sis Leben, I think, Meinka, Union Araujo, Labrovic. Not a lot of uh, recognisable players, I would say, but teams like this have Hello, called, caused us slip-ups before. They all fucking ran forward and then stood behind the man on the ball. Go. Well, they've needed something different, and he will certainly offer that. His movement is clever. Oh, there, makes yeah. Yeah. They might be onto something here. Oh, my and God. That is an absolute howler. Really, How do you That's not finish that, Bamba? That's such a good opportunity. Oh my god. Well, they were really support, good going yeah. forward, but too open Ferrari. defensively in that game. Today, I think we'll see a much better display from them going forward. Block. And they'll probably just have enough to waste. Moving forward well, I still can't believe we've missed that opportunity there. Oh, Rula! Oh my god, the Rue out. I can't say it's bad, but he just sticks up. We're just going to call him Rue that from now on because I can't get him. 20 seconds left. Can we just survive? That would be ideal. And the shot. There we go, that should it do and it. We do manage to hold whistle. on to a 1 0. To it should have probably been about come. 6, but well, Derek, we wasted really so game. many opportunities in that game. I mean, 16 chances. How many did we even get on target? Five on target from 16 shots is horrendous return. I'm not going to give an inform just because I don't actually think it's very deserved. That's a lot of what I've been saying this season is that they just don't feel deserved. So we do temporarily move up to third place on 15 points now after that win, um, which is decent. We're still in the hunt for European football, so 
We have to take it. It's just the performances, they're not particularly uh, classic. I'm not going to take over Holland. We do have the Champions League game in only a couple of days, two days, three days. So let's get ready for that one. All right, here we go. We are at the game against Dinamo Kiev. We are away, obviously, for this one. The group's still wide open, like I say. Um, we want a win from this game, if possible. That would be the ideal ending to this game, but it's not going to be easy because these teams are all in the Champions League for a reason. We will do the press conference before we get into the game, so let's do that now. Let's hope for at least a point from this one. So, uh, Dinamo Kiev, uh, Vanat up top, De Lund, uh, Rodriguez, Paris, Bazko, Shepelev, uh, Dubinchak, Bilovar, Popov, Timchik, I think, and Bushkanen. Not a lot of players that I know if I'm 100% honest. Richard Jack, I wonder if he's a goalkeeper. But it doesn't mean that they can't do damage to us if we're not at our best. We're in the corner though. Mary to Wilson and here's Adilia. Oh, it's a good finish. Adilia looks like he is going to be a big threat from corners while he's in that middle. It's a great delivery from Amiri like we know he can do. Right on top of the head of Sedilia. And a nice little snap of the neck muscles. Puts it in to the back of the net. That might be well, his first goal for us, actually. Hit the crossbar the last game. Area, which makes it a fairly That's a great cross. Up against two really players as well. Goal. Play on the line that actually really just blocks his goalkeeper. Doesn't really do much else. But Killian Sedilia. First goal in the Champions League. I think his first goal for us overall. Now back underway. What are you doing, Cassie? Why are you for... What the fuck? Are you joking, Keeper? Morales, you're a fucking god. I really need to keep him, man. That is shocking from him. First of all, shocking from Cassie. Belakoc up again going the wrong way, but Morales, that is right at you, Don. Shit from him. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. Curry is Nick back straight away and he's gonna bury it. I thought he might go short there. Sprinted through all the way up. You can see him barreling up the field. And the keeper and the centre back there have made a huge mistake. Curry and Nick's it. And buries it to give us a 2 1 lead. Stilia. We're taking this forward to do it. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Good finish there. Well done to Dillian for that run. Good run down the wing. Lays it back across. Nice little finish there. Not comfortable, but if we can get... I want at least one more, to be honest, to give us the cushion. I don't feel like two goals is enough, because the minute that we go 3-2... Our heads will no blow shortage again. of goals on this we'll match. Three one. Make it three three probably. The first half but away from home, three one. Good enough. Not happy, but good enough, I would say, at least. Definitely for those players. Pressing only to cut in. Oh, I tried to curl one, but not quite. That will be the end of it, though. It is 3 1 in the end. Which is pretty huge for us there. It gives us a massive step to potentially going through in the group. Obviously, depending on the result of the other game as well, we could find ourselves towards the top. Mando Breyer, two goals again. Big, big performances from Amanda Breyer in this episode. So Dilia as well, yeah, did have a very good game, I will admit to that one. Felt slightly better, but still too many mistakes, too many mistakes at the back for sure. So we do move to the top of our Champions League group stage after Leon and Arsenal play out a 1-1 draw. That's a big step forward for us. Six points now. Gives us a little bit more confidence that we 
we'll definitely obvious it's obvious that now we'll, we would at least qualify for the Europa League but I feel like there is a chance if we can take points off of Leon the maybe sneak a draw against Arsenal we definitely could go through as top of the top of the group it's, it's possible I would say it's definitely possible we will finish the episode also in fourth place in the league on 15 points so turning our fates around a little bit I wouldn't say I'm not gonna get over excited and be like it's a it's a good season all of a sudden now but we, we've turned our fates around somewhat we play Kiev again um, not next episode the episode after but that is the end of this one the draw two wins pretty much matching our the form of our last couple episodes so I'd say you can reconsider your future all you fucking want as if I found out. I'm not even concerned right now, brother. I'd say that we had a decent time there. I am going to sim to the end of the month to get our youth scout report. And then we'll wrap up the episode there. Anthony Martial will be making his return from injury. Obviously, we weren't really planning on having Anthony Martial still around. But he is still here, so he could help us. I am going to call Patrick Mayer up now that he's finished that. Um, and try and get him alone. The rest of these guys are going to leave for the minute. Oh, Lias Hartman has had an absolute fall off. He will now be getting released because his potential dropped to only 74. Huge fall off for that young man. Unfortunately, will not be making it for us. Let's take a look at the prospects that we've got. No one particularly promising from Germany once again. Looks like it's going to be a pretty poor crop of uh, youth prospects for this one. I think what we'll do, we'll leave all those ones. We will go and take, uh, who was it? Was it Patrick Miller? No. Who was it? You? Yeah, Robert Martin. We'll call him up. The rest can all just stay where they are because no one that looks worth taking a gamble on, to be honest. So let's go take a look at our new call up. Uh, Robert Martin, here he is. He is a five foot seven left winger. He's got okay pace, okay dribbling. But yeah, that is gonna be the end of this episode. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell to get notified when the next episode is available to you, and I hope to see you in it. Peace.